So this week, my husband John decided to take a picture from my dirty car window, and then he decided to make it snow in California. How about that? Hi everyone, this is Donna from Hollywood, California. This it's not just me, it's all by Donna. Welcome to another and Friday with Friends. And this Friday, gonna you're going to be today, really surprised because guess off. what? It's just me. Um, so I made my video a little I want to longer. Try something a little different. And, um, and I hope you do enjoy. Out. You're going to be seeing these earrings and this uh, pendant green, being um, made. And then I have a little surprise footage at the end. And we're going to make some beautiful Christmas ornaments with Easy Marble. And you're going to see how easy it really is. And I hope you do stay along uh, for the ride. Stripe. Ooh, we'll use some black and white. How about that? And I have to say, this easy marble does have a little smell to it. Uh, it's not like um, it's not like the regular marbling paints. So I'm gonna. In retrospect, when I did this, um, this water may have been too warm. Uh, it's supposed to be room temperature water, and I just may have made it a little too warm. And that's why that happens. Yeah. You gotta go really fast, and I, I thought I was going fast here. So let me try this again. Some black, and some white. that looks and that's on the butcher paper yeah look how pretty that is yeah, that's gonna make something really I know I'm talking over myself but nice. can you see that dog's face even I can't believe wrap it our, uh, it's so prominent up. to me <laughs> even it's if amazing wrap look up. at that those beautiful earrings and pendant with that make something nice in the long run so uh, let me get back to you in a few minutes so these are all dry and now I'm going to uh, pull off that tape and let's see what we have here I thought I was gonna paint down that line but now I decided after seeing it I have something special in mind Add some crushed glass with UV resin. 
So I have my cut glass out, the little cup, and now I'm deciding which two should be the earrings and which one uh, would be the pendant. And that's what I'm deciding right now. Put the pendant aside and put my earrings out first. At this point, I added all of the crushed glass with the resin, and I really could not tell you how many times I put that under the light, but I did put it under the light until it was fully hardened. Thinking even after with the cut glass it was a little plain, I decided to add, add some Distress Spray from Tin Pulse. Um, it was a little disastrous at times, uh, spraying from the side because I didn't clean out the nozzle, but it did come out beautiful. So at this point, I'm going through various uh, different beads trying to decide which one I really want to use here. And this is a process, you know, you just keep putting a few, you know, different ones until you finally come up with something that you really like. I tried a few different scenarios and finally this was uh, what I decided upon. I like that bead. And then I found some uh, small little um, I don't know what they're called actually. Um, I, I use them, <laughs> actually I use these for little halos on uh, these little angels that I used to make. Um, and I put one on the top here and I put one on the bottom of this, uh, of this beautiful crystal bead. These were Swarovski crystals. And, uh, and that's what I'm using. And that's what I'm going to use here because I really thought that it matched perfectly. I like that. I like it just like that. This is how, this is what I'm going to, let me see.
and these earrings are getting a few coats of triart glass. And I had to finish off the sides with the Wink of Stella. Wink of, Wink of Stella in black because it is the most shiniest, most amazing side uh, sparkle. It gives the most amazing sparkle. And they last forever. I have these for so many years. And um, every time I pull them out, they work immediately. I didn't even, all I did was shake that up. I didn't even have to squeeze it. So this is, it came out beautiful on the sides as you can see here. I apologize if there's any confusion. I used the Wink of Stella after I took here this video. And uh, I am so sorry, but I, after looking at this, I decided it needed a little something extra. And there's the backs. I do hope you're ready for part two. You're gonna love this. So I do have other ornaments, but I did purchase these ornaments at the Dollar Tree. And I could not help, uh, I couldn't help it. It was, uh, well, you know, it's a dollar and a quarter now, but um, I had to try them. And I am amazed at the results I got. I did try two, and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to do with Easy Marble. So these ornaments come with these little uh, silver strings and you just put it through as I did there and then you tie a knot and I am not the best knot maker so probably best that I don't do it in this video. <laughs> I should have really let, let my husband do this for me but I didn't. Sorry. Yeah, see. Okay, here we go. All right, there we go. Okay, and it just makes it easier to dunk in. And I'm gonna put all the strings on and then I'll get back to you. So I'm gonna start out with, I think a red and green. And here's some red, we'll put some red in here. Green. going to put my gloves on because this is messy messy and your fingers turn the color of the water and this is not probably a good thing because I just oh, I'm supposed to go really fast with this so now I'm gonna hope that I didn't wait too long and I think I did according to this big glob I got there, but let's, let's just try this. Let's try putting that in. Oh, that looks cute. Let's try it again. I'm gonna put it in a double. You know, because these balls, I don't know if it looks a little clumpy. Not to me anyway. Gives it a little dimension. I like the dimension on the ball. Um, I don't know, maybe it's me, but I actually like, um, I like when it does that. So, uh, yeah, let me hang that one up and let me get my butcher paper. Clean out that water. Go. 
I'll see there's still a lot left in there. Look at that. And the dimension that you get even though it's not you're not supposed to do it that way I like the dimension that it's giving it's like on top of your ball look how pretty that is look at that. okay we got something here let's just keep on going and let's get out our butcher paper and clean that water paper does a great job look at that and put it aside all right let's see uh let's use some other colors um how about some blue some navy dark blue midnight midnight I think it really said night blue, but we'll go with midnight here. Blue into that. That's a steel blue. Oh, pretty. Steel blue. Maybe a little white. Uh, looks like some ocean waves to me. Wow, look at that. I think I might leave that just like that and not even stir it up. Folks, this is the Dollar Tree uh, ornaments, and I do have some other ornaments, so I'm going to also be, uh, I'm going to put that there, put that in separate location, whoa, <laughs> drop that down, okay, now let's get one of these in silver, let's see. I love picking all of this up. I love the way I like the dimension on this. Wow, especially on the silvery ones. Look at that. Look at how beautiful that is. This would be great on some bigger ornaments, I'm sure. Let's get that home. I think was, I was not intending on doing this today, so many. Um, Look at that. That's making a beautiful piece of paper there. We could use that. All right, now let's see. I actually like the way it came out when I didn't move it around. I have so many colors. Um, hmm. Mahogany. Yeah. I wonder how that mahogany will be. Wow, that's a nice rich color. Beautiful. Mahogany. Oh, and the copper. 
Yes, my copper. I love copper. I really do love copper. So these are two, just two, uh, two colors in each of these. And okay, I'm not gonna swirl it around. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna leave it at that. Double dunk doesn't hurt. Wow, well, look how beautiful. Look at that. I'm putting it on the skewer and then I'm hanging it over here, trying to uh, keep them separated. And let's try a silver one in here too. happy with that one but you know what not as thrilled with this but you know what I'm gonna put this down just wipe my fingers off a second here and get, let's get some holiday red in there it says holiday red Let's put some holiday red in. Let's get some holiday red. And then let's put some some white. Holiday red. And some white. Oh. Holiday red, white, and it is a glitter ball, so we don't want to add any glitter to it. And a drop of black. Just a little bit of black. Alright, let's check it out. There we go. Yeah. I'm kind of liking that better. Oops, I put the, <laughs> put the string in. It means to put the string in. So I do like this a little better. Although, you know what? I bet you when it dries, it's gonna look beautiful. Let me get that on my on my skewer here. We don't want the balls touching dry properly and I think I'm gonna put them over on my drawing rack and I have three more bowls to go so wanna, I'm gonna clear this out I'm not thrilled with these colors and put that butcher paper on the other side and clear this out and let's see oh yeah how pretty that is yeah. I really like them. I love those blue. So I'm going to go back to that dark blue because they really look beautiful. Blue. I wonder if I put a little pink into it. I wonder how that would look. being at the beach. You see the sky, you see the sands, you see the sky, the sands, the ocean. I'm gonna get some of these in here. 
same with this, but just in the end. Just take a moment of your time as you're watching this last Christmas ball being made. Uh, remind you of last week's video of November 25th. And if I can please ask you to go back to it and enter the contest for the angel jewelry. I have angel wing earrings and beautiful angel pendant that I made and a beautiful bracelet. So, um, contest ends on December 7th and the name will be drawn and given on December 9th. Um, all the information will be listed below in my description. Um, you'll be able to find the at the end of this video I will put a link to that um, to that video. So be sure to enter before December 7th. Be sure to go back to the video of November 25th and count the out of frames. And I love the texture. So this is not the way it should be done. But you know what? I do love this texture. And I think that's beautiful. And let's see uh, how all of this dries up. And I'll be back in a little bit. So I had this little dollar uh, tree church that lights up. And I couldn't resist dunking it because I tell you, once you start this marbling, you want to throw everything in there. So I put these three little colors. I figured maybe it would look like snow. Uh, snow on the top of the roof or something. And, uh, and I dunked it. And we'll see, uh, we'll see what it looks like after, uh, at the end, after it dries. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, marbling session today. Uh, I certainly enjoyed this video. I enjoyed doing it. Uh, and I loved having you all here today. So this is my drawing rack that I had. I'm not sure if I ever showed this before, but it's a closed drawing rack and I use it um, to, for my water marbling. this project I just put a few skewers over the top as you can see and we have a wee wee pad on the bottom and that's how we do it here and this is the dried results and that church came out absolutely beautiful it looks like a snow-capped uh, church I love it now look at these balls these ornaments are just gorgeous. Just check out, check out that shine. And these are from the Dollar Tree. So we got 12 balls, um, 12 ornaments here. They are just stunning. I love this pink one. Um, that pink and the silver, just gorgeous. Um, the reds, the greens, they're so vibrant. Each of these, each of these ornaments are just stunning. So I hope you enjoyed today's marbling session. I know I enjoyed doing each of these Christmas ornaments. Um, it was so much fun. And I love doing the earrings also. I hope you enjoyed, um, I hope you enjoyed that part of it too. And I'm just gonna show you the end uh, results again of those earrings. And this is Donna from Hollywood, California. 
signing off with love, light, and lots of joy and laughter. Have a great weekend, everyone. See you soon. See you next Friday with friends. Bye-bye now.